away on the idol stage. She won an Oscar for her powerful performance in Dreamgirls. And now Jennifer Hudson co-stars in one of the most talked about films know, of the summer, Sex and the City. All right then, enjoy yourself. That's what your 20s are for. Your 30s are to learn the lessons, your 40s, I to pay for the drinks. Well, in that case, I take another one. What was scarier, facing Simon Cowell in American Idol or these four fabulous ladies in stilettos? Well, <laughs> because Simon came first, I would have to say Simon. Because he, his horror <laughs> prepared me for anything. Like I always say, if I can get through Idol, I can get through anything. And so any time I get like extremely crazy nervous, that's what I say to myself. And it makes it all better. And it seems Jennifer is indeed living a dream. So walk me through how you got this gig. You had just won an Oscar for your performance in Dreamgirls. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Thank by you. the way. And then you get this call to be in this fabulous film. Yes. Pinch, pinch. Pinch, pinch, <laughs> exactly. And I'm like, are you serious? And I wasn't extremely familiar with it. And then they I learned of it, and I read the script, and I fell in love with it, because I don't like reading scripts. And I could not put it down. I was like, oh my god, this is so good. It's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, I want to see the show. Send me every episode. I'm not love already. I need a little bikini waxage. Well, then snap to it. Don't play hard to get with a man who's hard to get. Maybe cucumber basil. Why would you want to smell like a salad? So I watched it at first prepping for it, but then I fell in love with it. And I'm like, oh, God, what's the next episode? What happened here? What's that? Oh, my God, no, they didn't do that. Wow, did they just say that? Fell in love with it, and, and I'm addicted now. Can you tell that I love it? I'm jumping out of my skin that I'm here today. I see, I'm so happy. I totally understand. It is OK. <laughs> so you are my go-to gal to discuss the soundtrack. We have Fergie, your mm -hmm. fabulous mm -hmm. self. Tell, walk Thank me through you. your song. When you can wear what you feel, what do you want to say? My song is Dressed in Love, and I think it's like the perfect song for this film, which took a lot of time to find, because Sex and the City, it's, it's like the Sex and the City to me anthem. It, it, rains, it screams sex in the city because sex in the city is about love and it's about fashion. And then to be able to flip that and turn it into a song. It's off the chain to me. And and that is talk about being dressed in love. You can wear what you feel. And, Ooh, and then it says, good. I'm dressed in love. That's good. <laughs> I ain't got nothing else to say. I mean, really. Hudson's busy schedule requires her to have an assistant, which came in handy when researching her new role. Have you ever been a personal assistant? No. Why'd you move to New York? To fall in love. And you play an assistant to Carrie Bradshaw. Yes, I am. Now, do you have an assistant? I do. So did you? He's wondering around. Hi there. Out there hi. Did you get any of uh, you know, some tips from him or? Yeah, what we do, I, we tried to trade places, and I acted as if I was his assistant, assisting him, which didn't last too long. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's like, okay, can you assist me assisting you, please? <laughs> but it, it took it took a lot, and I tried to and just put in a lot of different people that I knew were assistants and. And, and just portray them. But um, I don't think being an assistant is an easy job. So I take my hat off to them. <laughs> I hear you. American Idol, dream girl, sexy assistant, Jennifer Hudson has us all dressed up in her love. I'm all dressed up.